I am damn excited about the Valve Steam Deck. I mean, there's no denying that. And a lot of you guys out there are excited as well, and I think that's pretty cool. I've been doing a lot of content on this device, talking about different things, and the reason is because I'm really interested in it. And I think one of the reasons I'm really interested in this device is I'm somebody who just recently got even more into PC gaming than I ever did before. Like, I've always been a console, you know, player, game player, and I still am. I still enjoy playing on all my consoles, but... I never really embraced PC gaming to the fullest until recently. You know, I, I built a whole, you know, gaming PC. I got a, a gaming laptop and just started really embracing this stuff. Sure, I've always played PC games in the past, but it was always like delegated to like MMO type stuff that was only on PC or the experience was better on PC type of thing. And, and that was really where I left it. I never really played much else as far as AAA games or you know, all the latest releases. So that's one of the reasons I'm really excited for the Valve Steam Deck. It's just something that's in line with what I'm really interested in at the moment. So that's one of the, the main reasons I've been talking about this. But with all the content we've been doing lately, I've been taking a lot of suggestions from you guys as far as things to talk about, things to take a look at. And one of them that was pretty big was loading games off of a micro SD card on my PC. The Valve Steam Deck is a PC, so to get a good idea or a decent idea running these unscientific tests just to see like, yeah, can we actually run AAA games off of a micro SD card without an issue? And for the most part, it seems like the answer is, yeah, we have no issues with that. The Valve Steam Deck was designed to use micro SD cards. So I think it's kind of crazy to think that they would design a product that doesn't work with the media that they designed it to use, right? So, I mean, I think we can kind of put that to rest, sure. There may be some situations in the future or specific games that have issues running that way. It's yet to be seen. I don't know. But I've been testing a handful of things and haven't had any issues. Today in this video, I am running No Man's Sky through a micro SD card on my PC for the first time. I've never played this game on PC before. I've only played it on the PlayStation 4 when it first came out. And somebody had brought this game up the other day in one of my videos as the game does like, you know, stream textures in and just the way it loads things and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me grab this game for PC. Every game that you've seen me demonstrate, I bought, you know, to demonstrate in a video. So hey, you guys watching these videos and, you know, has been supporting the channel to be able to continue doing these little tests, buying these games. But I'm actually interested in these games more so after testing them out, especially like Doom Eternal. Like, yeah, I sucked at that game, but man, that game is amazing. So that's one I'm really getting into. And uh, No Man's Sky was a game that I hadn't played in a long time, and I was really interested in jumping back into it. And yeah, it's it's one I, I probably will be playing more on the, the PC now that I own it. But that was one, yeah, I wanted to test micro SD card, seeing it loading, see how it played. I did transfer it back to my PC on the NVMe drive that I have just to compare loading see if like because there is like a lot of pop in as these uh worlds in the game are procedurally generated type of type of thing and i, I remember even on the playstation you know the, things just pop in as you're you're cruising up on them type of thing and i wanted to see was that going to be even worse running through micro sd card so i did compare it kind of looking at it and it didn't really seem like much of a difference to me like i don't i don't see any difference loading wise yeah it loads slightly slower through micro SD card. Not, a, I mean, it is there is a difference, but it wasn't drastic enough for me to really care because the game, no matter what, No Man's Sky takes a moment to load up, uh, even if you're continuing the game or starting out fresh. So uh, it wasn't a big deal. Like I've demonstrated in my other videos, it's like you'll have a game that loads in 10 seconds on a NVMe SSD. And then on a micro SD card, it might take 20 to 30 seconds for that initial load. Not a huge deal. Definitely some drawbacks, but drawbacks that I think most people will be fine with for the most part. But yeah, I mean, playing No Man's Sky, I didn't really see too much of a way uh, as an issue running through micro SD card on my PC through this unscientific test just to, you know, say, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure everything's going to be fine with the Valve Steam Deck. Just wouldn't make sense of it. It didn't, you know, but who knows? in the future with how games are designed and whatnot but you know hey it is what it is right now it just seems like it's going to be okay to me but the one thing i was i was curious on 
and a lot of people have been been talking about was other storage options because yeah this thing is designed to use micro sd cards or the built-in storage that you have depending upon the model that you get and i think for the most part people are going to be fine using micro sd cards but there's been a lot of people talking about using like external usb hard drives and how is that going to work and there's there's some things to keep into consideration here because when you look at the valve steam deck how many USB ports does this thing have? It has one. It has one USB-C port for power. That's the, the main usage of it, is for power, charging, you know, charging this thing up. But it can be used for other things, plugging in other accessories, peripherals, and, and whatnot. It can be used for a portable, you know, external hard drive, it can. But then this winds up being something else of an issue that you have to keep into consideration. Battery life. The Valve Steam Deck, I mean, they've been pretty upfront that it's looking to be between two to eight hours depending upon, you know, the actual load of how these games are being played, you know, the performance of the games as far as graphics settings and, and whatnot, frame rates and all that, obviously how bright the screen is, that kind of thing. Uh, all those different options can weigh on the battery life. Now, if you're plugging in an external you know, freaking hard drive, that's going to be sucking up a little bit more power. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And my main concern here is using a, a external hard drive is if I'm using this in handheld mode, like I'm just chilling at home, sitting on the couch, it's like, oh shit, I got to go. Got to go pick up my kids or something. Let me just take this with me, drop it on the front seat of the, you know, my car, go sit in my car, wait for the kids or whatever the hell I'm doing. If I have a wait time, you know what I mean? I just want to start playing again. Like that, I don't want to have to worry about like carrying a bunch of other crap, like an external drive and whatnot. But as far as like using this in tabletop mode or like plugged into a actual monitor using it in desktop mode. Yeah, this Valve does what Nintendo don't with the, uh, the power behind this thing. My God, I mean, it, it has all those options just like the Nintendo Switch but quite a bit more powerful. It's not to be considered a console though. This is a PC, it's a whole other thing, but still a lot of people are drawing those comparisons there to Nintendo putting out that, that OLED model versus Valve saying, you know what, we, we got it. We got this awesome little device out there, but yeah, using this in tabletop or, uh, you know, plugged into as a desktop, using a, a portable USB drive, any kind of hard drive, be a thumbstick or like a Western Digital, you know, Passport, whatever the hell they're called. You know, little hard drives that are powered by whatever you're plugging them into that are not externally powered. I think that's going to be fine running it that way, tabletop or desktop mode. But running around handheld mode, I, I just, I, I have to be concerned with, like, the additional power it's going to take. Now, you do have, you know, an option there. You know, in theory, it should be fine that you just take a splitter or a USB hub and split, you know, one port, use it for power, the other port, use it for the hard drive that you want to use type of thing. But I, I just don't really, in handheld mode, I don't want this to be a, a freaking hentai tentacle freaking massacre. You know what I mean? I don't want things hanging all out all over the place. I just want to play it. So I think for the most part, myself and a lot of other people that I've heard from, Micro SD cards are going to be fine. Um, you know, I just, it, it is what it is. I, I mean, I've heard some people say like, ah, oh, what about, I've only, okay, I haven't heard a bunch of people. I've heard a few, like two or three bring this up. They're like, what about like using smaller micro SD cards, almost like the Switch with its cartridges. And if you have bigger games, say like a game that takes like 50 gigs, load that shit up on a 64 gigabyte micro SD card, treat that like it's a cartridge or a game that's even bigger, put it on a 128 gigabyte micro SD card, treat that like it's a cartridge. And I'm just thinking like, man, that's not very cost effective in the long run, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. But at the same time, I have said, like, I don't really want to jump into those one terabyte micro SD cards, like 512 and below, I, I think I'm fine with, um, for the most part, like depending upon price until price comes down on those one terabytes. like. I don't want to have a bunch of micro SD cards that I use, maybe two. I, I mean, depending upon how I have my, you know, games situated, maybe a couple, but I don't want to have too many of them. I lose micro SD cards all the damn time. 
and that's a concern to me. They're just tiny, you know what I mean? I guess be a, a responsible big boy and, and keep track of them. But occasionally, man, shit fucking happens. They fall on the ground. I don't notice it. Uh, gets stuck underneath something. I don't notice it for a year and a half. Uh, it happens, dude. It happens. So I, I really don't want to do that. But if you already have a bunch of micro SD cards and you could keep them organized, fuck it. I mean, that may be an option there. Got me wondering too, like, will Valve wind up doing like, hey, uh, exclusively for the uh, the Steam Deck, we're gonna release Half Life Three in physical form, and it's like a, a Valve branded Half Life Three freaking micro SD card, like that. That would that would that would sell like crazy, but at the same time, I really don't think that would ever happen. Not necessarily that you know Half Life Three won't ever come out. It seems that way, but you know what I mean. Like, I'm just not a hundred percent if they would ever do something like that. But you could treat your, your micro SD cards that way if you so choose. But yeah, that that's my concerns, you know. You gotta wait and see how that dock's gonna look, that valve's gonna put off themselves, but you're gonna be able to use other USB-C hubs to get that display port access and to be able to plug other things into the system. And that's gonna be fine, but for me, in handheld mode, I'm not gonna be messing with all that extra stuff. I'm just gonna be playing it with the, the onboard storage and my micro SD card that's in there, that's it. Desktop, hand, you know, tabletop, whatever you want to call it. Sure, sure. I may have to dedicate an external hard drive. Let me know, what, what, what way are you going to play? What's your storage option that you're looking at for this thing? For, you know, whatever version you got, whichever model you got. What, what storage option are you going for? Are you going to wait and see on that M2 possible upgrade? Or are you just going to stick to micro SD cards? Or are you just going to be like, you know what? Whatever fits on the system fits. I ain't fuckings with it. And just leave it as is. Let me know down below. Really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.